the second episode of round two of the Hardcore Mode Challenge. And we're loading the world. Alright, so I established sort of a base. And what I'm going to do now while I still have... Oh, I don't even have that much food. Forget resource hunting, I need to get more food. Because this is not going to last me long. And I better even cook this food that I got here. I'll come back for that. Also, I should take this bed with me just in case. And so I'm going to head this direction more. I'm trying to head in one direction so that I'll be able to come back to all the places I've already been by turning around and going in that direction, the uh, the west direction. At least I think it's west, I don't remember how Minecraft cartography works. And killing these pigs, the pork. I'll take any kind of food I can get. I'd even fish for fish if I had some string. And did he drop? Yeah, pigs are so unreliable. Cows are the most reliable to me. And what else drops meat besides zombies, cows, and pigs? Oh, there's some pumpkins. I don't really see any purpose for them, though. I don't know, maybe it's for snow golems? Do snow golems use pumpkins? I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I think it was a good idea to uh, walk or search for more food, because there isn't really much in this direction. I might have to resort to picking mushrooms and using them for a uh, mushroom stew. Because for some reason mobs are not spawning for me. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, there's chickens. That's chickens also drop meat. Chickens taste like chicken. Okay, that was stupid. I won't say that again. Just another chicken. Plenty of chickens. Actually, in truth, it's probably not enough chickens. There's never enough enough chickens. There we go. Anyways, uh, if you haven't already, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, that just left my brain completely. Anyways, if you haven't already, uh, you might want to also check out Viticus per Viticus's perspective. Uh, and we're, I don't think, I'm not sure if I already said this, but, uh, ooh, wolf, uh, we are having a friendly competition in the hardcore challenge mode to see who can gather the most resources with before dying. Uh, we don't like we haven't really made too many plans except for the new rules about storing your uh, point uh, resources in the nether. But other than that, uh, it's kind of Oh god, what is that noise? Um, <laughs> other than that, my god, that's distracting me, I hope. I don't know, anyways. Oh, I've lost. We're not too. We haven't really discussed much other than rules than that. You know? So, if one of us dies, like I died before. Viticus won by default because I hadn't gathered any resources. But uh, I'm not sure if, like, even if someone dies, but they had, like, a way more amount of resource 
like way more diamonds if they win who wins I'm not sure I'm not sure that it really matters actually at least that's not the fun part for me and we are keeping score though why not that's fun as well I yeah, finally found some cows depending on how much meat I got from that This might be enough to last me a while. I may want to consider making an animal pen to breed uh, whatever animals I find. Because I'm finding like food animals are scarce while sheep are way abundant. I'm not used to them being this abundant. There's sheep everywhere. Kind of irritates me because I'm not really building. This isn't really a series for building things, but in general, when I like to build things, I'm always collecting wool and like carrying dyes with me to dye the sheep the wool for the wool colored wool that I would like. Because wool's I just never have enough wool. Sometimes it takes me like hours just to collect a couple of stacks of wool. There's also a lot of wolves, but they would be useful, but I don't have any bones. A vast oh. virus database has been updated. Sorry about that. It's not supposed to do that when I'm in a ga in a game. But oh well. You may depending on that, if you heard that, you may or may not know what antivirus I use. So Kudos, I guess. Anyways, I got a few seeds. I'm thinking about starting a farm, but I'm not going to depend on that. I'm not going to rely on that being my main source of food. Because, like the previous round, that'll just get me killed. I'm still not going to sprint. I don't know if I have been. I don't think I have been. More chickens. I... I would gladly use this time to get more food. Because that will guarantee that I will live another day to mine. But maybe for your guys' sake I'll try and go s do some mining. I got plenty of food for now. I got way more than I did last time. And that ravine looks like a good place to get some uh, some ores, like iron and gold. Gold's probably going to be a lot deeper, but plenty of iron for sure. And the thing about iron too is you use it for so many things it's going to be hard to balance whether or not I should turn that iron to iron blocks for the score or if I should use it to make armor and stuff. I think I'll avoid using iron for armor, though. Because I could use leather. It's not as good, but the cost of leather is extremely cheap, because that's all you can do with it, is make armor. But it's almost sundown again. I spent a lot of time of this episode looking for food. But food I found indeed. I think I ought to kill these sheep. I think that's what's preventing uh, food mobs from spawning. Is that there's too many sheep in this area. They used up all the allocated slots for the chunk. That was a very complicated sentence. I almost stumbled on it. Sheep must die. Well, I got some more wool for beds, I guess. Hopefully other stuff spawns. Preferably cows. Yeah, I know I'm not I know I shouldn't be using this pickaxe for this uh grass, but it's a crappy wooden one. And I suppose I should reseal this up. I 
get more dirt first. Alright, that should be plenty. And that part is sealed. That was never not sealed. Well, it was at some point, but you know what I mean. And let's cook some of this food. I could cook precisely eight beef. And can I sleep yet? Yeah, I can. All right. And we'll begin mining. Here we go. Got plenty of torches for now. Wow, look at that. There might be gold down there actually after all. This is a very deep ravine. In fact, I think it's two ravines in an X pattern. That's very interesting. But there's some iron. So I will dig out a stair system. And that's just going to fall. That's an edge. And... Uh, oh. Well, that's not good. Ah. This is going to be a complicated stair system. Hmm. I'm being defeated at every corner here. There we go. There's a danger spider. Boy, this is... This terrain is not cooperating with me. There we go. And I haven't decided whether or not I want to build any kind of houses as well. I think uh, my strategy is going to be not focusing on building structures like I normally do, but to actually just uh, go in, strip the area of its resources, and move on to a more uh, another area that has more just waiting to be taken. I mean, any building I do will probably be in the nether to build a secure base to protect my resource totem, or whatever you should call it. Oh, this is... Can I get him? Oh. Boy, he's tough. And no gunpowder. That greedy bum. Well, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, oh, ooh, whew, don't want to fall in there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, why not go check out Viticus's uh, perspective? I've got a link in a in the form of a video annot annotation. And thank you for watching. <laughs>